So you just got your first lace front wig installed and your style is killed it. The baby hairs are on fleek, the lace looks natural like it's growing directly from your scalp. But now it's been a few days, you've been able to successfully remove the wig from your hair and now you're left with this. How am I supposed to get all of this gunk out of my precious, precious hair? Well, luckily, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best method to do so for beginners. So as you can see here, I have some white patches on the sides of my scalp, and that is from the gel that was used to adhere the wig to my scalp. So you're gonna need a few things, just some hair oil, and you're also gonna need a spray bottle with water and the shampoo of your choice. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by basing my scalp with oil first and I'm gonna just try and get that all over the braids as you guys can see the oil kind of just ran off of my head the oil I'm using is a very lightweight oil which is why I did that so don't be alarmed but I'm gonna just rub that in and I should also mention that the glue that was used on my hairline and also um, a little bit on my the front of my braids was the got to be gel glue so thankfully that is not as aggressive as ghost bond or gorilla snot glue in my hair personally i have natural hair by the way so yeah i'm just going in and i'm rubbing that in i figured i'd start off with an oil first because oil is our savior ladies okay sis use oil anytime you have to like get rid of glue or just like you know yeah just point blank period anytime you have to get rid of glue i recommend using oil first because it has so many benefits and it's way more gentle on not only the skin but the hair as well and just look at my face i'm thoroughly exhausted already and <laughs> we've only just began my arm was getting tired there but yeah i'm just really getting that oil into my scalp good and i'm trying to like press it in and rub on the glue as well i'm <laughs> getting a sip of water as well and then i'm going to just be doing the quicker version of sitting under a hooded dryer which is using a heating cap i found this one on amazon and it comes with these tin foil like shower caps that you first place on your head and then you pop the actual heating cap into your microwave warm that baby up and then plop it onto your head and you are good to go so i'm literally going to be chilling like this for the next 20 to 30 minutes i think this method can help you if you're a beginner because honestly i'm a beginner at this this was my first wig install at a salon and just watching the steps taken to put the wig on my head made me so scared to take the wig down without damaging my own hair. So now we're gonna go straight into the washing process, which is gonna be just literally a quick wash. The fastest method to do this would be honestly as you just saw spraying and saturating your hair with water using a spray bottle and then going in with any cleanser of your choice i do not know what shampoos work best for everyone's hair so i'm just using what i know best and this product was gifted to me um with a brand i worked with over on instagram by the name of ginger milk um, this one is the ginger milk usa and i really just love how gentle the shampoo is as you guys can see i have quite a lot of the product to go through so i will be having a lot of fun using this product throughout the year at least the beginning half of 2022 so i'm just going in and rubbing that all on my hairline because that's mostly where the glue sat on and I just wanna make sure I get in between the braids and onto directly onto my scalp. And I'm just getting some more shampoo and really going in. As you can see, it's all falling from my hands and everything. I even started to get a little bit tired at this point. So once I feel like I've gotten most of the glue out, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this shampoo out off camera and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what my scalp looks like. 
All right, so we're back from the first shampoo. And as you guys can see, my hair has gotten a lot frizzy, frizzier over the hairline, but you can still see some of the glue in some of the areas, the little white patches um, on some of my braids. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with round two of the shampoo. And we're just gonna go ahead with the same method. Get your spray bottle of water, get your shampoo and get to work, sis. And I even wanna make sure I'm being gentle at the front of my hairline. You can see the baby hair is laid and slayed right now, but I'm going back in and I'm making sure I get right in between the braids, really get that gel out of my hair because I'm gonna be in these braids for another couple of weeks. So I'm going ahead and using my scalp massager as well, just to really make sure I get in there. So this is what my hair is looking like after the second wash. And as you can see, the glue is completely gone. I am so satisfied with this result, but we're not gonna stop here. So as you saw, I just washed my hair, so I need to put back some hydration. I'm gonna be using this detangling spray because unfortunately this is the only <laughs> leaving conditioner that I have around the house but this is the one that i usually go to anyway my go-to product so i'm just spraying that all throughout my braids just to add back in some moisture and just patting it into my hair and hoping it helps and seeps in as best as possible and then i'm going in with my double buttercream from as i am this video by the way is not sponsored by as i am i just really like their products so i'm using quite a few of their products in this video but i love this stuff whenever i have my hair braided up or in twists which more majority of the time my hair is in braids so i figured you know let's add in some extra moisture after the leave-in spray and put in this double butter cream especially when i take down the braids oh it's gonna look so good <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna be using my growth oil, but don't be fooled, I just repurposed the bottle. Inside, I have Jamaican black castor oil that I just poured in. I'm just reusing this bottle because I love the applicator tip at the top. It's easy to get into any braided hairstyle that I have, and I'm just pouring that onto my directly onto my scalp and rubbing it in with my fingers. And I love this oil just because I suffer from like really dry, flaky, itchy scalp whenever I do any protective style. And honestly, it's partially my fault because I am neglectful of how much maintenance my scalp needs, like maintenance and care. And so I just wanna be more proactive in between my protective styles and do better in 2022. So here we are. So here is what's gonna make my braids look like brand new all over again. I'm gonna be using some foaming wrapping mousse. This is from the brand Lotta Body. Honestly, this is like super affordable. As y'all saw, it was less than five bucks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my braids and I'm going to actually lay the braids. Um, I'm gonna be wrapping it under a satin scarf. I'm just gonna keep it wrapped for about 20 minutes and this is gonna really help bring that frizz back down. So now that your hair is free of all the glue, you obviously want to reinstall your next wig, right? Don't worry, sis, I got you. I have a video coming out next week, Friday, on how you can get this look right here on the screen without using any glue. That's right, you heard me correctly, no glue. And this is a 13 by six frontal, y'all. Tune in at Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to see how I achieved this look right here.